Hi hey everybody, it's Thomas John here and I am, um, it's a happy Tuesday to you and I hope that you're having a wonderful um, day and hope that you guys are doing very well today. And I have with me today, Susan Allen. So some of you may know we actually, she's somebody that I've been um, sort of mentoring and working with. And um, Susan, you wanna say hi to everybody? Hi everybody. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad we're all together. We're all together. Yeah, well, we're excited to have everybody here. Susan and I actually, I think it was about a month ago now, um, we hopped on and did some readings um, for you guys, and that sort of went very well. So I figured we would come on and do um, some more readings. Um, so, oh, I've got us both here now. That's good. So we're going to, we're going to, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of have some fun. Um, we're going to be doing some, um, just some readings, just fun things. So if you have a, if you have a question in chat, if there's something that you want to ask about, um, if you want to do a psychic question, Susan's really good. Also, she does do animals. Um, but she's also a great psychic and medium. So if you've got questions, go ahead and I'll, we'll pull them up. Um, and we'll, we'll do some readings and stuff. Um, before we get started, and please um, also guys, if you can, we would really appreciate it. We're always trying to kind of expand our network and things. So um, if you could um, like or share this post, if you could tag anybody that you think may be interested in this post, hearts, 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 thumbs up, thumbs up, we would really appreciate it. So. Um, Susan, can you tell everybody just a little bit about yourself for people who aren't familiar, just a little bit about how you work and things like that? Sure. Well, I started out as an animal communicator and people started coming into my reading, so I just went with it. <laughs> Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you, um, and, and when you are working with people, so you sort of, somebody could come to you and they can, um, and what you I know you call your stuff do you call it you call it soul speak right yes and why do you call it soul speak what is that what does that name come from it actually came to me in a meditation because animals were communicating with me like a person would mm -hmm. okay <laughs> and I didn't you know what I was trying to figure out is where is this coming from you know and mm -hmm. um I felt like you know, I'm going to meditate on it. And I meditated on it. And it came to me uh, that I was talking to the soul of the pet, just like I talked to the soul of a person. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how I got that name. That's beautiful. And what are some of the things, tell us, can you tell us a, a great story, maybe from a, a recent reading that you might, you know, that you could share with us that might, um, like just an inspirational reading that took place? Uh, yes, I, I read for a woman and a fireman came in and he said, um, he just had this huge personality and, and, you know, some spirits are so strong, they just take over. <laughs> and um, I knew he, I said to her, he had something with his lungs and he's told me that he didn't have a mask on mm -hmm. and that, um, you know, he, he took in really bad chemicals and he was a fireman first responder in 9 11. Mm -hmm. and that that to me is the most profound because i felt like i was talking to a hero mm -hmm. and i just was so honored to have to be able to talk to this person that was there and Great. he saved he saved a female officer he um grabbed her by the belt and pulled her under the um the um truck and and i said to her he said he died in december and she said yes mm. he died of uh, lung cancer mm. in december so mm -hmm. it was it was great and he told her not to worry about the stock market she's a financial analyst or investor mm -hmm. <laughs> he said it's coming back because mm -hmm. apparently that was a lot of the talks they did together mm. he'd have to keep her calm no oh, very cool well that's a great reading yeah. so let's dive in let's do some readings right now if you have a question you can put it in chat um i'll actually i'll just want to say i'm just going to do a quick message here that i just got um i don't know i feel an older person coming through just a real quick kind of like a drop in you know some so um there is somebody that i'm feeling named oki and he just wants to say he wants to send love to his daughter and, and say that he is 
He's very connected to you and he sees you when you go to the grave site cemetery. Um, and it, and I, I don't know what, you know, he just wanted to send love to you. So I feel, feel like I want to give that message to whoever that goes to, hopefully that person. And our, our rule of the day here is please, 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 if there is a quite quite a delay. So Susan and I are gonna work really hard. We're gonna both try to give you some messages. We'll do some on our own, we'll double link. I really want Susan to be able to work with you guys because she's a fabulous medium and psychic and we get to work with her today. Um, so when you get a message, please, if you can, validate it. Um, what I would love is if you could put your validation maybe like in capital letters or if you could put a bunch of hearts after it, so it draws my attention to it because there's so many comments. Please do not do that just for your own comments. But if you get a reading, if you could put a bunch of hearts maybe after your validation, that would just kind of draw me to your um, thing. And so I'll know, but if you could just say what you connect with, that would be really um, very important. Um, so um, let's go to, um, I have, there's a question actually from a lady. She's actually had readings. I recognize her name. She's, she's um, actually been very supportive to me. So I would love if you would actually do a reading for her. Um, her name is Sue Camp. Um, she actually wants to know about her house getting sold, um, Susan, but I know that Sue is very open to reading. So if there's anything that you want to pick up about her, that would be great. Let's start with her. Yes, it's going to sell, I feel, in the next three to four months. You might have to drop the price. Okay. A little bit. I'm trying to, like, oh, my cat's here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, sorry about that. That's okay. Um, trying to um, see the, the, the messages myself, Thomas, on my laptop. I'm still having a little issues. But let me just continue with the reading. I'm doing the best, Thomas. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah, um, I, can, I can manage that. Okay. Channel. It's up to you. Okay. Um, okay. Yes, I feel like in the next three to four months, you're going to have to drop the price between ten and 20000 more, but I feel you'll have an escrow. Um, mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't see any. You pick up anything else for her? Just, I know, I know she's very open to things. Is there anybody you see around her? Any other message you want to give her? Um, I keep getting the name Richard. I don't know if it's for her or for somebody else. Okay. Um, but I, I know a, a thing that realtors do is they buy St. Joseph statues and they bury them in the backyard. They sell these statues at all the board of realtors because they believe in it so much. But I don't think it's even going to be necessary to do something like that. Um, just uh, you're going to have a price drop and I don't think you should drop it before the next 30 days. Keep it where it is. Okay, great. Let's go to uh, Michelle Boriello is on here. Um, she says, hi guys, I am sick of my job. Boss can be narcissistic. I'm grateful for the job, but I feel like I might need to leave. Is this a bad decision? Um, any guidance? So anything about her job that you're getting? Yeah, uh, just keep playing up to his narcissism and tell him what a nice tie he's wearing. Find okay. something nice about him to say and it'll get a little bit easier. He just needs to know that he's in charge. I do see a job change for you. Um, okay. Doing something even a little bit different and you'll be happier, but I don't see it happening before October. Okay. And I want to add to that, Michelle, I feel for you, off, uh, and I, did, I don't want to say this in a disrespectful way, but I think it's really important to look at the whole thing. There's an element of this that spirit is telling me that you are manifesting. You are creating this energy at some level. I don't know if it's the people you're choosing. I don't know if you're, because they're, but they're giving me a feeling of a repetitive energy. Like this has happened where, um, and sometimes, you know, like we, you might have a karmic contract with narcissistic people. Um, and that might be a lesson that you, you need. So until you work through the lesson, so it'll keep popping up for you. And some people will ask that sometimes and say, my God, I keep dating, you know, the same type of person or something. I feel like this has happened in relationships with you, certain family members. So you have narcissists all around you. So I, I kind of feel in a way that this is just another person that you've casted into your life to teach you a lesson. So the question is, what is the lesson? You know, so I would encourage you to sit with spirit, ask them, is there something you're supposed to learn from this? Because otherwise it'll just keep showing up. That way you can learn it, master it, get clear with it and move on. You know, that's what I also feel. So 
Um, let's do um, this one. Um, oh, here we go. Suzanne Rowe, she wants to know about her cat who's having some health issues. Um, she thinks even the cat may transition. Um, we're, I don't have a name or anything like that, but I can certainly ask her, but do you pick up anything about her cat at all that she could be helpful just for her to know? I'm feeling that the cat is having digestion issues and he may not want to eat. And I think possibly if you could get to the bottom of the digestive disorder, um, I feel like he even threw up recently. Um, okay. So if you could get to the bottom of that, it's possible. I don't, I don't get that he's transitioning today or tomorrow. Okay. She wants to actually know, yeah, if it's help, if it's time for him to help him transition, she's saying that I guess the cat has cancer. Mm -hmm. So, um, but you're, you're feeling more, you're not really, oh, by the way, just to interrupt one thing, Sue did say thank you for her reading. So um, I guess that helped her. Um, um, is there anything more you want to add to that with the cat at all? Um, you know, cats will let you know they're very dramatic. I feel like he's going to have a very dramatic, he or she, I, do, I don't get sexes right with animals in readings. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's a disclaimer. But I just feel like he'll let you know and it'll be the right time and you don't have to worry about it. Okay, I'm, I'm just scrolling through because I'm actually just seeing if anybody else, so we, I didn't, we didn't get yet a validation from Michelle, so we'll just see what else she says. Again, if you get a reading, please validate. Um, and um, let's do this. This is more of a psychic type of reading, um, Susan. Um, oh, oh, sorry, I clicked it. Raven says, I've been doing the same line of work for 20 years and have been wondering if this is it for me or another career path. Raven wants to know that. Well, I think you're very good at your work, Raven. Mm -hmm. and you're, you're sought after for this work. So it's going to be up to you um, whether you really want to change. But I feel like you're going to have more things to make you full of joy mm. in your personal life that the work will just become that just work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I actually feel Raven, you know, which we all do, but I, I feel like you've got some real strong spiritual gifts mm -hmm. and um, you may want to consider tapping into that, that part of things too. So, mm -hmm. um, and I believe this is somebody's name, but I just, I heard the name rink. And I don't know who that is. Um, okay, uh, Suzanne said, thank you. She will pay attention to timing. Um, hold on one second. I'm just picking people. Tell people a little bit, um, <clears throat> tell people a little bit, Susan, about how if they want, a lot of people are saying they'd love to get a reading with you, a private reading. Tell us a little bit about how that works. Where can they do that? Things like that. Sure. Um, you can go to susanallenmedium.com. Mm -hmm. And I have a special right now if you sign up for my newsletter. Oh, wonderful. And um, I, I'm continuing with that special in light of the circumstances we're all facing. Mm -hmm. And the, the thing is, is a lot of people email me and say, well, I have an animal, but I really want a personal reading. I do a combo, you know, if I ask you, do you just want straight animal communication or do you want a person reading? And most people say people reading, but if you get anything from spirit or from my pets living, it ends up being like a combo. It's just, it, and some people don't even have pets and that's fine too. It's just, I make it what you want. You know, I don't try to keep it in the lines because this work is so out of the lines. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I ask people what they prefer and you know, we can make that happen. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, that makes sense. Okay, beautiful. Um, um, let's do this one. Um, Jenny Rose, she's just open to any guidance. So if there's anything that you can just get her or give to her, Jenny Rose. I'm feeling that the next four to five months is going to be a very good time for you to really um, build your spiritual 
gifts. I feel like you're very psychic and very spiritual and use that, the tool of the intuition to guide you. Um, because I think that you hear that still small voice, but you kind of ignore it. Mm -hmm. um, and this isn't going to last forever. I feel, you know, I feel like you want to believe that, but I'm here to tell you that the way that your everyday life is right now is not going to last forever. You'll be traveling and you'll be going more places. Okay. Um, and, you know, even Europe next year when it's safe, safe, safe to travel. So, okay. so I, uh, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Um, I want to ask, um, this actually, we have David here. He is saying that he just took a new job mm -hmm. and he is feeling very stressed about it. And he right. wants to know if that is something that he should continue with. He feels like he made the wrong, maybe the wrong decision. No, I think that you made the right decision. I think you needed some change in your life. And I think you're worried about the change that you made, but you kind of needed something fresh and new. And I feel like it'll get better. Um, it's a very strange time for you um, because I feel like it's a little different than what you were doing, but I think it's gonna, you're gonna be very happy there. Beautiful. Okay, yeah. Thomas. Um, yeah, I didn't really tune into that person actually, to be honest, I don't wanna, I wasn't really tuning into their energy. So uh -huh. I did have a drop in from another person, um, Beverly, um, who just said that she wants to tell her daughter who must be here, um, how much she loves her and thank you for helping her at the end. You did make the right decisions. Um, she said there was a lot of confusion and she said you made the right decisions. Her name is Beverly May. Um, I believe this would be your mother. I also want to let you guys know, I have gone ahead and pinned Susan's information at the bottom of this uh, video. So if you would like to, you know, connect with her or talk to her um, or um, um, reach out to her, she, you can go on that. I just go, went ahead and pinned that. Um, want to keep going, Susan? Yeah, I just felt like, you know, I felt like somebody's family member passed in a plane crash. Okay. I just want to put it out there that right. they know that you're worried about right now over finances, but it's going to be okay. I couldn't, I was trying to get whether it was um, during 9-11, but I wasn't really clear about that, but I am getting the name Richard. So mm -hmm. if that makes sense or an R name, <coughs> if this makes sense to anybody, I'd love to know because I felt somebody last night when I was trying to say, tell me about this. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> let's see here, hold on. All right, so plane, um, oh, and actually, hold on one second. Um, by the way, Michelle that we did at the beginning with the job, she sent a message. She said, see, this is what I'm talking about. I didn't even see her I know. thing, um, but she said she did put in all caps and she said that, um, um, that yes, everything you said made sense and she found it very helpful. So she wanted to thank you for that. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, Okay, this lady, Michelle Krantz, I'm trying to do some psychic things. Um, she wants to know, she, she loves working from home and she wants to know, well, she's been able to work from home obviously with what's going on. And she actually wants to know, will this be something that she'll be able to continue to do because she would love to be able to do that. Yeah, she's great at what she does. And I think they'll accept your offer. Just put it, put it, Put your foot down and just ask for what you want. That's what I would say, because I think they would be very happy to let you work from home. And if they try to offer you less money, um, think about your transportation and your travel money, and maybe it'll work out better for them and you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I'm hearing um, too, um, <clears throat> I wanna say too, um, I feel, um, um, 
what I, this is what, what I want to say. I feel, I heard actually that you are, you're owed something. There's something where these people owe you. Um, you've done a lot for them. I mean, I don't want to say, oh, you know, but they, they kind of owe you. They value her. Yeah. So, they value her a lot. Yeah. So you really have to kind of go at that approach to things. Okay. Um, I'm also getting a message um, from two people, a Walter and a Gladys. I believe this would be your husband, maybe, and your grandmother, but I feel like they're coming through and they're saying about you taking the opportunity that's been put in front of you. Um, I see I see money there too, Thomas, by the way. Money, yeah. Yeah, that they really do owe her this. Um, I'm picking up a John name that recently passed away. If that's, if, I mean, I know we probably can't. Yeah, that's great. So we've got a couple of things, John, and also we have the, um, um, we had the thing in the plane. So if anybody can take that, that would be great. Um, um, Amber um, Fitzgerald would like to know, will she be doing anything with her house? She'd like to possibly buy a house. I think there's one legal matter left that you have to sign off on to buy the house. And I think it has to do with getting some income for yourself. And I'm not sure what that is. I mean, for all I know, it could be this uh, loan that you've applied for. Uh, okay. There's one more like step to get some money in. But yes, I, I do see that in the next three to four months. It's a great time. Okay, so you feel yes on that. Yes, it's a great time in the next three to four months to really buy a house because people need to get in and out of escrow. Beautiful. Okay, so that's hopefully that helps you. Um, Kim would like to know, Susan, can you please give, give me some guidance with my spiritual gift? She would like to know about her spiritual gift. Her name is Kim. Kim, Kim. Mm -hmm. Well, you're so sensitive. It's like the beginning of, you know, being an amazing medium and psychic. And I would just make sure that you, when you get up in the morning, when you're still in that tired state, start your meditation and prayer work immediately when you get up and um, don't have an expectation that anything's going to happen. Just keep bringing your mind back to the meditation. And I think that you'll be very surprised at um, how much you'll grow spiritually just from meditation. That's wonderful. So hopefully that helps you, Kim. Um, and, you know, just pay attention. And I also want to tell you too, um, you do have many um, guides around you, many spirit guides. These could be family members, um, angels, um, you know, different people who want to connect with you that I really feel are, are very much, you know, they're wanting to connect with you. They want to connect with you. They want to speak to you. They want to. So um, I would say, you know, if there's anything you can do to kind of bring them a little closer to you, you know, um, invite them a little closer to you. Um, I, I think that they could be very, you know, very helpful. One is definitely your grandmother. Um, one actually feels like a beloved cat that you had. Um, um, a lot, I feel like um, a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of, uh, I think there could be a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of people and things like that, that, that are around you. Um, I even, I don't know, I feel like you've had some, um, you know, near death experiences even that have really opened you up and stuff. But I, I think the main thing is, is, um, I would love for you to get a little bit more, just really work on your confidence and stuff. Cause I agree with Susan, you're very sensitive. And I see two white dogs in spirit. I don't know who can grab that. If that's for you, Kim. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll put that out there. Um, could you um, help this lady? Her name is, um, uh, hold on one second. Oh, well, here's actually just a general question. You can help okay. people. Um, is the Rainbow Ridge Bridge real or do pets go to family? I don't really understand what that means, but. Oh, I do. That's so sweet. It's such a beautiful thing, the Rainbow Bridge, but 
you know, when my dog Rosie passed in spirit, um, when I was just looking out the car window, I was grieving. And when I was looking out the car window, I got a flash in my mind and my sister in spirit was holding her. Mm. I think your family members know that these are your loved children, mm -hmm. your babies. And I think when they cross, your family is there to grab the soul of that animal. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's what I feel too. I mean, I think they're part of our group, you know? Yeah. Uh, and definitely, Lori, you've got some, you've got some great spirits that are there. And I think they know how important your animals are to you. So um, you're, you're, um, you know, I don't know who Betty is, but she just dropped it. And she said that she has one of your dogs and um, she, she helps a lot with your dogs and stuff. So there's some dogs with whoever that lady is. Um, Lizette Bahana, Lizette says, I have been told I'm very sensitive. I see a lot around me. I'm still trying to cope with it. Any advice? Meditation and prayer work. I don't, um, I really, the way that I was able to funnel that energy coming in, because it's intense, is to do um, calm and still your mind when you get bombarded, because I believe that you are that sensitive and you are getting bombarded with the energies. So ground yourself, prayer. I, I teach this as well. Ground yourself in prayer and meditation and ask for only the highest and best information all the time. Only the highest and best information. Okay, perfect. A um, couple people are asking, oh, so um, just so some people have just joined us and now they're saying, how do we get in touch with you? How do we? So um, yes, if you'd like to connect with Susan, you're at, it's, it's Susan Communicates, right? No, it's Susan Allen. I'm sorry, Thomas. I changed oh. that up on you. SusanAllenMedium.com. Oh. Susan oh. okay. Allen Medium. So the, 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 the Susan Allen, Susan Communicates, does that go somewhere though? It goes to Susan Allen Medium. Okay, <laughs> great. So we're just going to keep that. I'll actually change that down here. Because I had that, I thought that that you would change that, but then I saw that the other one was still up. So oh, okay, yeah, okay. Sorry about that. I'm trying to. And what's your what is your email address if people want to email you to set, to ask any questions, not psychic questions, because I mean we're not gonna nobody's gonna take advantage of you in that way. But if somebody has a question like about you know what type of reading should I book, how can they reach you? Susan Allen Medium at hotmail.com. Susan okay. Allen Medium at hotmail.com. Okay, great. And um, and guys, I'm at Thomas at mediumthomas.com if for any reason you guys need me. Um, but like I said, um, I have a I have a huge wait list, so I'm not available for anything soon. But um Susan is, you know, I I um I've had several clients, especially in the last um, because I've had a lot of people um who have asked recently about um you know, uh, hold on one second, who have asked about, you know, readings and stuff. And so Susan is definitely somebody I recommend. Um, so if you're wanting a reading soon, she's a great person to go to. She's very ethical. She gets a lot of, you know, great evidential information. So I only recommend people that are like the best. So um, I think that she's really um, great. Um, Lori has heart. She said, oh yes, that made sense because she said her, mo her mom, Betty, did pass. Okay, that's good. That was the lady that I said had the dogs. Um, hold on one second. By the way, somebody else that you had read something about a financial thing, I forget who it was, they said that it made total sense. Um, can you ask, uh, Josephine wants to know if you pick up any of her animals. She has a lot of animals the past. Yeah, um, and I feel, I was just feeling your heart ache when your animals pass. Every single one of them is your child. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, there were two dogs in particular. I feel like they were siblings that came through a little earlier, and I feel like this could be for you. Um, okay. And I feel like you even helped a rescue and they're telling me that you helped a rescue, a particular rescue you helped and you got these two from rescue, rescue and they were siblings and they're so grateful to you and they had a wonderful life. And they told me that you cooked for them. So um, 
uh, they're there. I mean, they're, they're forever yours. They're part of your soul family. So they're always going to be there for you. And you're a great person. And I, I'm happy that you came on and asked. Okay, great. That, that really helps that person. And hopefully um, we'll get a little bit of a validation from that person. Um, um, hold on, just pause. You get any messages? Um, oh, AJ wants to know, do you pick up anything about his horse that went missing thunder? Oh, sorry. That lady said, by the way, that lady said that she does, she did have two um, white huskies that, that's what I were, saw. that were siblings. Yes. Yes, that's what I saw. I said two white dogs. Yeah, she said she would rescue them. So thank that, you for validating that. Thank you for validating that is right. So do you know anything about this guy's um, thund, uh, dog that passed? Uh, I'm sorry. a dog or a horse? horse, horse I saw a horse and I saw a lighter colored horse. Um, and then I saw a dark horse. I don't think this was your first one. I think there's one in spirit, but the one that was stolen. Um, You think it was stolen? Because he just said it went missing, but are you picking um, up it was stolen? Yeah, I did. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, I think they didn't want to give it back. Okay. So you think it's it's out there somewhere? Yeah, it went missing and then somebody took it and won't give it. Well, you know, not interested in finding the owner. He, this horse eats wonderfully um, and he's in good shape. Okay. Um, but it'll be hard to get that horse back, I, I feel. But it's 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 living. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that, that hopefully that helps that person. I hope ease the pain a bit. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, I have another drop in too. Um, a bill who wants to say that he sends pennies to Kathy and Anthony. So I don't know who he is. He must be somebody's dad. Um, Connie Chappelle wants to know, Susan, I just lost my rat terrier this past September. Do you get anything? For Connie. Yeah. Oh, he was he was much older and he said that he knew tricks and you guys had a wonderful life. Um and I'm showing him, I'm seeing him jumping up like almost into your arms or into your bag or something. And he's um he's I I'm I'm seeing treats, so I'm wondering if you taught him using treats and um, what a wonderful little guy he is. And he says, thank you, mom, for helping him cross. Um, he said he really wanted to be out of that body. He needed mm. to leave. So thank you. Beautiful, that, that helps a lot. Um, I don't know, we, and by the way, um, Anything that has to do with, uh, we still have the plane crash that Susan was picking up and the name John also. Um, so I don't know, and, and, and you didn't know, um, um, Susan, you don't know if those are linked at all, right? They could be for separate people. It could be for separate. I'm also wondering if the name was Richard for the plane. Okay. Um, but I was picking that up all night. So I don't know if it's for someone today or it's gonna be a reading I'm having this week. <laughs> I was hoping it was for today. Okay, great. Um, anything from, um, um, let's do a psychic question. Um, or I also what? just heard the name Jonathan, if anybody's got a Jonathan in spirit. Okay. And I also want to tell people too, just to kind of shift the vibration a little bit too, um, which is great, all these animal questions, but you, I mean, cause like, it's funny because you're so good with the animals. Yeah. Sometimes people forget that I'm um, a medium. Yeah. You do other things too, right? Oh yeah. No, I, I do all mediumship. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't start out that way. I didn't think I was, you know, I thought I was an animal communicator and I started seeing dead people. And, you know, here, my mind's eye, and I would describe them and give messages. And it's just gotten 
most of my business now is personal soul speak. Which beautiful. Is beautiful. For people. beautiful. Um, also, I want to say too, I don't know who has the great aunt Susan Driscoll, um, but I feel her coming through. She's just coming through to let you know she is watching over you. Um, now, could this be somebody's, could this John be somebody's, um, um, could this, could the John be um, somebody's stepson or somebody's cousin? Because we have a John that was somebody's stepson. Close. It would probably be the stepson. I don't think it was the cousin, unless you were so close to the cousin. But it's somebody mm -hmm. very, very close to you. I see a sandy haired man. Okay. That's here. I don't know if um, if this is him, and um, I almost see a military. Um, okay. So, so if, what we'll do is we'll put that we'll okay. put all that in, and we'll just ask if anybody you know if anybody can take that uh, sandy haired um, and um, 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 and see if anything comes more for that. Um, um okay can you can you ask this lady um do this lady too um hold on one second um Brittany jean she goes i have been uh, waiting for someone who could pick up on animals can you tell me about my animals at all because she i guess she has a lot of animals that passed um I see five animals right now. They came forward. Okay. And you, two of them passed very, very close. I almost think three. Um, there's, there's more behind them, but I think in the last seven years, you've probably had maybe um, animals go very close together in, um, in their time frame of you know, the loss. So I'm sorry about that. Um, and I do, Thomas, I do combo readings. So if somebody wants to know about their pet, but they're not going to, it's not listed. I just, I always ask when I'm on the phone with the person, it, would I probably get from your deceased loved ones? Um, do you want that too? And, and usually they say yes. Mm -hmm. okay. So I like doing that. I like doing both, but I don't have to do both. That's great. Okay. Um, Oh, we've got somebody ringing the doorbell, so hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, I feel like I'm picking up a John, that John again. So um, I'm still waiting on comments from the John because I don't. Oh, see. okay. Yeah, you I haven't wait. really. I haven't seen that late. Some lady did say. Um, she said this Kathy lady said she understands Bill about sending pennies that I had picked up. I guess she said she understood. There was a lady that said, John, was it my cousin or my stepson? Right. Well, there, no, well, there was two people, but they, I haven't seen them come back yet. So, okay. Um, okay. Let's, we'll go on to somebody else. Um, so Kathy, I would assume that Bill, you know, sometimes we have what we call drop-ins. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, is they'll show up and they really are just coming through just to say, hey, I love you. Hey, how are you? Um, so sometimes there's not truthfully, you know, a big elaborate message. Now, of course, if you've got a private reading or you have a one-on-one -on -one reading, you know, that's a whole time for the medium to really open up. And, you know, we do the best that we can on here. So sometimes it's just, you know, we can't give everybody 45 minute messages. So, um, um, but we, we tried the best we can. So that's what I got with that. Hold on one second. Uh, I to refer to that as dropping into the rabbit well, hole. Dropping in and they, they just are really here just to support and say, Hey, how are you? You know, um, th this is, this is more what Susan and I are doing here is very similar to like how, when you go to the, you know, if you go and see a medium work on the stage or things like that, or a platform medium, you know, um, where we do big, large groups. So we, we're not able to go to every single person and give, um, I mean, truly the best way, if you really are focused, if your only focus is on getting a really comprehensive, helpful, move your life forward, healing experience, the best way to do that is to have a private reading. 
Absolutely. Um, because it really gives the medium and you a chance to really connect where you can get clear, specific messages. Um, when you go to groups or large groups, we try to bring through a lot of healing, but it's really a different experience. It's really more about the overall energy of the room and we bring through messages, but it's, it's not a time where we can spend 45 minutes with one person. So an example like that guy, I mean, he just kind of said that. And I think probably, and I, I wasn't, she wasn't being, she was being very nice. She was just saying, she goes, I'm, I'm validating that. So she wasn't, Kathy was not, she wasn't like nagging for more. I was just saying sometimes, you know, they just come through in this very brief way. And sometimes they have a lot to say. It really just depends. Um, and let's do another. Um, 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 yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people who said John. So I don't know, you know, like this lady, another lady said she has a cousin. So I also just smelled a burning electric. And sometimes like my mediumship is that I see, sm smell and feel. Okay. And I smell burning electric and I feel like it was a fire. And it, this person went very rapidly and he just told me I went very, very quick. Um, mm -hmm. He said I can suffer. Uh, let mm -hmm. my my wife know, let my wife know I heard. Okay. Um, okay, perfect. That's very helpful. Um, I did want to give a drop in from a Margaret and an Isidore and they were saying that um, you found one of them dead on the floor and um, they are with you a lot and they're helping you through some sort of weird health thing that's going on. I don't know really what that has to do with, but that's what I keep feeling. Um, Connie said, thank you. Connie said, thank you. Something with her animals came through and she said that you did help her a lot. She wanted to let you know that. Um, okay. Um, um, D, D wants to know about her cat. Is it possible she could be sensing your cat jumping on the bed? Yes, your cat is not he's with you more than he is on the other side you are yes. sensing that it is real he's like life is normal life's normal like we're just i'm still doing my same old thing okay he even said that he still drinks water mm. they have a weird weird way of drinking water was it like toilet bowl or the kitchen sink or your bathroom sink because he's showing me he drinks dr drank water in a funny way beautiful um, and I'm getting another drop in a uh, Larry coming through for Lisa and um, just wants to say that he's helping her through her depression. Um, do you have anything for this lady? Um, she just actually all she said, I mean, not all she said, but she just said, thank you for doing these so much. She just being appreciative. I, I was wondering if you had a message for her. Her name is Lori Noez, N-O-Y-E-S. Do you have any message for Lori? I just felt very pulled. I felt like there's a man in spirit. I want to say a P name, Padre, Pedro. Okay. Paul, Pelo, Pae, I don't know that Spanish name, sorry. But he's saying that um, he loves you, he misses you, um, he's bringing you roses, he has his hand behind his back and he's bowing forward which tells me um, that's my symbol for I never left. Like I'm here with you. Mm -hmm. um, and it's so funny because I, I mean, I, I have had this, I mean, I, I see another lady who's, you know, somebody says, am I crazy? Do I feel my dog? Am I crazy? <laughs> it's funny because you, I always, you know, it's, it's funny when you think about it, because just imagine in the spirit world how, and I'm not sort of not making fun of anybody, but I'm just saying, Imagine how frustrated they get, right? Because they're they're doing all this energy and all this work to sort of get our attention. Right. And we're like, is it really them or is it not? So I, know. I always tell people, I had I always tell this story in my classes. I had a workshop once with a lady, uh, not a workshop, a private reading. It was actually a woman, she still sees me to this day, and she had lost her husband on September 11th. He had left left her with three kids. And um, she would find like on September 11th for going, she probably saw me, you know, uh, that happened when I was a senior in high school. So she probably saw me six or seven years after that had happened. So, or maybe even eight years. And then, so she started, she had had several September 11th where she hadn't seen me and she decided to have a medium mystic reading. And one of the things that came through is I said, do you get pennies on your pillows? 
And she goes, yeah, whenever I, you know, like it never fails. She said September 12th or September 11th or September 10th, I'll wake up and there's pennies on my pillow and the, or they'll be in the bed with me. And she goes, and sometimes there's 10 pennies. Sometimes there's two on the pillowcases. And she goes, you know, I just, I don't know how that could happen. I mean, it, you know, is that my husband? And I was like, you know, it's like, it's funny when you say it, cause you, you almost want to be like, smack the person, right? You want to say like, of course it's your husband, you know, but we're, we're in, I think what it is, is as, as being in this physical body, which is so dense and so heavy, and we have so much, a lot of emotional trauma that we carry for us, it's just sometimes so hard for us to fathom, yeah. you know, that, um, um, our loved ones, our pets, our animals, our spirit guides would be, I mean, some people are just shocked that, you know, they just, they just can't believe that somebody would love them that much that would be watching over them and guiding them. I guess in your work, Susan, how do you help people overcome that fear, that skepticism, that negativity? How do you, how do you do that to kind of help them? Well, the fear of doing a reading, I've gotten emails where they say, I, I'm just afraid. I don't know. Well, I, first of all, I want to say that this is the least scariest thing that I've ever done. I am also a trauma survivor, like most mediums. I think that's what opens up our third eye. And I think that when you're that sensitive, you, um, when you start doing mediumship or the readings, you, you feel finally the calm. And that's kind of what happened in my life. Like, I feel like this is really what I was always meant to do. Mm -hmm. And all the other careers and businesses really didn't make sense. And um, getting back to your question is, I've had somebody on the phone, it was one validation after another validation. And she go, yes, yes, yes. But what about, but what about, it's like, take a breath, take in because there is always a good message in what you know spirit is telling you because what i found is spirit doesn't lie spirit doesn't lie especially your guides and your um and your loved ones that are on the other side spirit is there to help us and i've, I've had readings where people have said well i didn't meet that grandfather mm -hmm. and and I would say, but it doesn't matter. You're the DNA. You're part of his lineage. It's, he's watching over you. Mm -hmm. He's yep. going to protect you and help you because you're the next, next, next generation of his DNA on earth. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I think we, we have, we, that happens all the time, you know, I, or I will have somebody, you know, a, a, a loved one will come through and they'll say, um, I have a message. I had a woman on the phone this morning. Um, I said, you know, and she had lost her daughter. And I said, you know, your daughter's coming through and she keeps saying, I love Michael. I love Michael. She goes, I don't know anybody named Michael. I said, your daughter is saying that she will not move on. She keeps saying, I love Michael. I love Michael. She goes, there's no Michael connected to her. She kept saying this over and over. She said it like we spent 10 minutes on this. I said, you, you, there's got to be a Michael because she won't move on from your daughter will not move on from Michael. She goes, oh, well, that's my son that I had after my daughter passed, but my daughter wouldn't have known him. I said, but you don't, you don't understand. When right. people go to the spirit world, they're still very much alive. They're still very connected to our lives. And so, of course, they would bring up, that's her brother, you know, that's who what she's talking about. So um, she sees now that she's crossed over, she sees his true soul. Right. This man being so wonderful. Right. So, okay, let's keep going here. Um, we'll do some more questions. Um, again, guys, um, I'm here with Susan Allen Medium. Um, she is at SusanAllenMedium.com. And that is her website. You can set up a reading with her. I've sent many clients to her. Um, she's uh, very, just very gifted, very intuitive. She does mediumship. She does psychic. Um, she has a kind of a specific brand of the way she does things that she calls soul speak. Um, and it's really, um, 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 yeah, it, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, she's really a part of things and stuff. So, uh, and she's really an, an accurate person and stuff like this. Um, Thank you. 
Lori, I think most are afraid because in the Bible, it says not to go to spirit readers. Even oh. now when I had you one speaker and you said, Betty, my mom, my boyfriend looked shocked and said, you know, you're not supposed to do this. So um, that's is a great question, Lori. I think that's a great question to ask. So um, I actually, let's answer that because I've got my answer on that and I'm sure. So what do you say to that, um, Susan? Um, because that is something that comes up. People will say, um, you know, oh my God, that's against the rules of the Bible. That's against the rules yeah. of my religion. I, I know, I've, had, I've had friends I've had for years mm -hmm. when they found that I was doing this, they, you know, said things that were so hurtful that, it, you know, that I, they came to me for advice when they needed it. Um, but the truth is, is I only have helped people, never hurt people. So mm -hmm. how could it be of the dark side if I've only been able to help people and give them comfort in their grief or advice. I mean, my I would say my life is so much better since I'm finally doing this work, the work that I was destined to be, you know, and I've been doing it 10 years. And um, right. now I'm out in a very big way with you, Thomas. So thank you for getting me out there. Mm -hmm. But um, this this is helping never harming and mm -hmm. the messages are so beautiful mm -hmm. um like 99 percent of the time there was only one time where i heard to tell this woman's child if you don't stop vaping you won't be able to stop and that was like the most harshest thing i think i've ever came out of my mouth mm -hmm. um, but you know i think that it's helpful not yeah. harmful and my answer is, I, I, first off, I don't, pre, you know, I, I, I have read the Bible. Um, I went to, you know, went to Catholic church um, for many years. I actually go to the Catholic church sometimes. Um, here's what I think. Um, first off, in the Bible, they talk about people who are prophets. The Bible was actually, when you think about it, written by psychics. Um, it was written by people who saw and foretold things. Um, and they had visions, and that's how the Bible was really written. Um, we have people in the Bible that are astrologers. I mean, the wise men, um, you know, things like that. Um, so one of, one of the things that I think is that, um, and, you know, I know some people are very, the Bible is what the Bible says. I think that the Bible, I see it as more, it's a living, breathing document. There's a lot of interpretations to things. Um, I think that you always need to have that direct connection and any medium or psychic will tell you this, um, you know, that there's a direct, you need to have that direct connection always with God. Okay. If you start, you know, source the higher power, whatever, but if you, if you rely solely on readings and only care about readings and readings, 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 and we, you know, we probably both have clients that they rely too much on readings. That's never good. And we try to discourage that. But I think that um, I just feel like, you know, there is a spirit world. And so that love continues. Um, you know, there's a lot of things I know it says in the Bible, you know, don't do this, don't eat pork, you know, I mean, you know, we have to think about you know, the Bible is a, is a, it's a, it's a, it's a historical document. And I think really what the Bible says is, you know, don't put a lot of attention that there are charlatans out there. There are, there are people that are fortune tellers or stuff. And those are the people that will harm you. But I mean, the Bible has many psychics in it. So I know my first, well, it wasn't my first, but I was really young and my mom died and I went to those gypsies off the street. Mm -hmm. scared the bejesus out of me and it the thing is is you know you delivering the message and kindness and peace and not going to these people that want money or i've heard horror stories and i think that's what scares a lot of people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's just not scary it's really b beautiful you know yeah um beautiful let's go to another person um um, right. And I, uh, I believe just to wrap up that topic that God gives us our gifts, you know, so obviously he could also, you know, he or she, or it, <laughs> take, it, take it away too. I heard you would say, I, I'm just like a school teacher, like a school teacher. I'm just, I, this is my profession. And I thought, yeah. Wow, Thomas, that's really humble. <laughs> 
Um, Um, and do you have anything for um, uh, this lady keeps? I just want to ask you, Laurie Ann, you keep texting about your grandson being psychic, and I just want to know if you know um, if you know Lawson. I don't know who that is, so I could be picking up on somebody else. In the meantime, let's do this one. Um, Burn. Her name is Burn Mary, I think. Brian Mary. Barney Bar Bar Mary. Any messages? Welcome. Any messages welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she just wants to know any messages you get for her. Um, I just saw a Scottish kilt. Are you Scottish? Okay, um, let's I just saw a man in spirit with a Scottish kilt. He's holding bagpipes. I'm feeling like this could have been part of your wedding day. Um, and I could be getting somebody else. So <laughs> I'm hoping it's for her. Okay. Do you get anything? Um, and I just want to say, guys, a couple of people said, no, that's her website, Susan. Allen Medium. Yeah, that's her website. Um, so just make sure you type it in right. Some people said they couldn't find it. It's SusanAllenMedium.com. Allen with two L's. A-L-L-E-N. Yes. And if you sign up for my newsletter, I'm giving, um, I'm keeping this discount for a while. I did oh, it month in March, but I'm going to continue with this uh, discount. Okay. This actually, this guy, Michael has a question. He says, I, um, Michael says, I am, I see spirit a lot. Um, I am a firefighter. Um, is this something I should pursue, pursue or should I turn it off? Oh, I would never turn it off if you see spirit. Um, I feel like they're coming to you. They're not totally clear. They're kind of coming in a little white, like a white misty kind of thing. And I would, I would totally welcome that. I mean, if, if you have that ability, Michael, keep, keep centering and going. I always ask for the highest and best. And I always ask for evidence that it's them. I ask for evidence. Um, who do you, who are you trying to reach? Um, and, and you have to train spirit not to bombard you uh, at night. <laughs> mm -hmm. You train them, but I feel like they're guiding you too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like they're guiding you and there's a friend in spirit that's helping you and he's right over your right shoulder and he's got his hands on your shoulder and he's saying, continue, continue with your work, continue, you are a wonderful, firefighter you've helped calm so many people in your line of duty mm -hmm. and um he's saying i'll help you with the spiritual work i'll help you get messages mm -hmm. so i think you're okay i think you're doing really good that is beautiful um let's see here we've got um Somebody said, somebody, yes, my grandson Lawson passed away. Okay, so that was for you then, Lori. That's good because you kept asking about if you, so I guess you're talking about your living grandson. Yes, I do feel that your living grandson has a very strong connection. And when you asked that question, I heard the name Lawson. So I think what I'm getting is, is your grandson in spirit is guiding your grandson who's here who is very open and connected very in a very deep way um and yes i think you should encourage that keep encouraging that go ahead guys and make sure to like share heart 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 uh thumbs up thumbs up i'm here with susan allen um she is a medium and a psychic she also does a great um great with animals um picks up on all types of animals um, and can really get specific messages um, from them. Um, and she's also an excellent medium and excellent psychic. So if you would like to set up a session with her, um, she is doing um, sessions um, um, at this time. She's taking readings. So you can um, sign up with her. If you need to reach me for any reason, you can go to my website, which is mediumthomas.com, or you can shoot me an email at thomas at mediumthomas.com. Uh, Tracy Williams has a question. Would moving to the desert be good for her? Yes. 
I know, I think you know that. And I think you have two friends there that you're close with, if not sisters or family members. That'll be a great move for you. It's hard for you to imagine a new life, but I think it's gonna really, you'll be getting rid of so much stuff. Um, it'll be great financially too, so yes. Karen Burrell, I feel as though I may be an empath. Do you think this is true? She'd like some validation about that. Oh, definitely. Um, I feel you're really, really sensitive um, and you pick up on other people's feelings. So you wanna kind of block that energy and do some like Archangel Michael protection around you when you go out shopping or when you go any place. I'm also an empath. So I know I'm, I kind of like just wanna go out and have fun, but then, you know, after I'm in a crowd for a little bit, I suddenly go, wait, that's not my stuff. That's the guy, that must have been like what I just picked up out there. Mm -hmm. um, so I pick up other people's feelings as well. So you just kind of have to be aware of it before you go and run around in big public arenas. Like for some people, this has been the hardest thing to stay home. For me, honestly, I kind of love staying home mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Thomas, I know you, you're okay with a party and a lot of crowds. You right. like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think it'll be different. You know, it'll be, it'll be, it, it's going to be different existence, you know. Yeah. Frank Williams uh, validated what you said. She said that's right about her thing with the desert. Um, I have a drop in, but I would also love to give you a, what type of question you want, Susan? We're going to do a couple more. You want a medium, a psychic, a pet? What do you want? I'll take whatever you got. Harold says, my cat Sammy keeps howling at me. Uh, what does he want from me? He wants you to talk back. Okay. <laughs> he does. He wants you to talk. You're not talking to him enough. He's mm -hmm. like, I'm real. I'm a soul here. Have right. a conversation with me. We could like have a conversation together. That is very cool. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you one. Um, um, I want to give you, oh, and my drop in. Um, Martin, who was the firefighter, is coming through, um, and he is wanting to talk. He's wanting to give a message to Kay, and he wants to say that he loves her very much. He knows that she is missing her a tremendous amount, and he will be visiting her through dreams. So as long as she stays open to that and is very open-minded, she will get those messages. And also, he says that he loved being a papa and he'll be visiting the grandkids too. Um, let me ask you this, um, Susan, um, what, um, what are the most common, and I'm gonna do something a little bit weird right, right now, I have to grab something in the other room. Um, so I'm gonna actually give you this question and then I'll be back in 10 seconds. But I wanna just ask you, what are the most common soul contracts that animals have with their people? Mm. That's a good question. Like, what are the animals here to teach us the most of the time? Love, always love. Okay. And what are they, um, what are they actually, you know what, I've got this pen. I, I wanted to grab, grab a pen, but I just realized I've got a pen over here. So I, I just like to write what I'm reading. So I don't need to actually get up now. So I've got my pen back because uh, there was another pen. Over the, here. Common, the common thing with animals is their pure love. Um, unless they've come in with karma to teach you something like if an animal bites you mm -hmm. or you lose an animal suddenly um, through something tragic, I think that they were here for a very, very short time to show you something that you needed to learn or another a heart opener, another mm -hmm. layer of your heart. Mm -hmm. um, uh, because like, there, there's no mistake that when I had my dog, I, I learned so many things from her, mm -hmm. including she brought me my uh, business. You know, she started my business with me. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's all about love. And usually they want to teach you self-love because the love is mostly so unconditional from the animal. They want you to unconditionally love yourself the way that they love you. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, that, that makes total sense. So they're, they're really like a teacher for us. They're a teacher. And I have animals that told me I was, my, I was this person's 
mother in a past life. I mean, I get that all the time where I was this, you know, I came in for five minutes. I didn't know it was going to be so brief, mm -hmm. but I can't, I used, it's kind of very woo woo. Mm -hmm. It's a little woo woo. Even for me, I was, I was born and raised Catholic. So they tell me things and I learn as I go. <laughs> very, very cool. Um, well, I want to say that first off, thank you, Susan. You shared so much today, helped so many people. Um, I want to give uh, us a time to wrap up right now. So thank you guys for coming on and listening to our live. Well, I think we'll do this again, Susan. Oh, your cat just jumped off the back. <laughs> um, um, he talks to me all the time. And if I talk back, he stops. So <laughs> how? And then he just wants attention or he wants me to like say, how are you? Oh, that's so cool. That's so, so cool. It's, and I just adopted a rescue um, two days ago and she's fitting in beautiful and it's such a great time. Oh, wow. Such, I'll, I'll, I'm going to post pictures soon. We're just I'm, I'm actually going to be selfish and ask you with my dog, I'm thinking of getting him a brother, but I'm worried that he's going to be, he's such a diva that I think he's not going to like it. Do you think I should get Jackson a brother? I think he wants a girl. A girl? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think he wants a girl. That's so cute. Be fine. That's so yeah. cute. Um, well, very well. Well, thank you guys. And stay in touch. Stay safe out there. And Susan and I will definitely, at some point, we'll, we'll, um, we'll, we'll come and, and hang out with you guys again sometime. Okay? So take care and many blessings. Thanks, Thomas. It was so fun.